Hello everyone, this is a free to back. I know how to play today. We're looking at how to play this game, Nine Lives, which is a truth taking game that is specifically for three or four players. It's from boardgametables.com, now known as All Play. And it's by Taki or Taiki Sinzawa, who's also done Goats of Christmas and some other truth taking games. I may not have all of them, and other games too, I do believe. It is for, like I said, three or four players. Takes about 30 minutes. It's a trick-taking game. You get a deck of cards. What's interesting about this deck of cards is you get your four suits. But you can see on the back what the suits are. You don't know what value this is, but you know it's a purple suit. And as I mentioned, the purple suit is the Trump suit. Now, if you're going to play with three players, you're going to remove all the blue fist cards and not use them. What you do get on the cards is different types of cats, which is kind of cool. But uh, they are the same number to number. So all the sixes are the Scottish Fools. Main Coons are on the nines. See, there you go. Same artwork on the sixes. Bengals on the ones. Prisons on the sevens. Remise on the threes. Siamese or Sphinx on the fives. There's Siamese in there, etc., etc. American Sorner, that's what I had years ago. So anyways, you got that. You got this ball of yarn token. This is a first player indicator. Whoever's going to be the first player gets that. Would have actually been cool if it was an actual, an actual ball. Even if it wasn't necessarily yarn. If it just felt like it was yarn, that would have been cool. But it is what it is. You also get a score tracker. And you're going to be play, I believe it's four rounds or until somebody gets nine or more points if somebody hits nine or more points they win the game or if nobody gets that and you play the four rounds whoever has the most points at that time wins the game uh, uh. yeah four rounds you're gonna pass the token around even if it's three players, I guess it's four rounds. You also have wooden cubes, two per player, in the different colors. I do kind of wish I had done something aside from, like, I mean, yellow or brown is fine, but the other one, I think it should have been better as green instead of brown or black, just because I feel like the yellow and the brown are kind of similar-ish in color. And same with, like, the tokens. But each player also gets two tokens, a... Prediction token and just a, a marker so everyone knows who is who. And you get this rug. Again, this would have been nice if it's actually like felt or something that was kind of fabric and felt more like a rug as opposed to just cardboard, but minor, minor things. In the upgraded version, you actually can get cat meeples instead of these cardboard ones. Somewhat wish I had done that, but it is what it is. So, in the game, Every player is going to be dealt out nine cards. Let me just deal out cards. Okay, I didn't mention the cards come uh, nine per suit, one through nine. As you can see, you're going to be able to tell what suits every player has, but not necessarily, obviously, the values. And again, the purple is Trump. So at the start, you're going to make predictions starting with the start player. And um, so I got a couple of nines. I got two Trumps that are pretty high. I got seven. I'm going to say, you know what? I think I'm going to win this. Let's say I'm going to win this. So what you're going to do is you're going to place your token next to one or two numbers. And this guy maybe says, you know what? I'm going to win this. This guy says, I'm going to win this. Actually, no, he's going to say this. Because he doesn't have many cards. And this guy says, you know what? I think I'm going to win this. You cannot have, you know, two people making the same exact prediction. Now, on this board, you got numbers 1, 2, 3, 4. But you also have 5, 6, 7, 8 next to that. This means that... This player will achieve, the round player will achieve their prediction if they win one, two, five, or six tricks. 
For me, I'm going for three or seven tricks. And so the trick taking game is pretty straightforward. I'm gonna play a card. Maybe I play this seven in yellow. And everyone else has to follow suit if they can. This guy has one yellow, he's gonna play it. This guy plays this one, and this guy plays this one. Whoever plays the highest card of the suit led or the highest trump, just like most trick taking games, wins the trick. And they will get to collect any one of these cards except for the one they played. So this guy played the highest card, he wins the trick. He's gonna to get to take one of these other cards. Maybe he says, you know what, I'll take this free. He doesn't want a high card. Mm, yeah, that's fine. The rest of these cards get discarded. So the winner of the trick always collects a card. Then they get to lead. Maybe they lead with this pink six. I must follow, so I just dump a card. That says, you know what, I'm going to win this one, so I might as well. And this guy, however, does not have... So he can play this trump card if he wants. Or he could just play a different card. If he plays a different card like this one, he doesn't win the trick, obviously. But if he plays the trump card, he will win the trick. And maybe he wants to win that trick because he doesn't have many trumps or anything like that. So again, he gets to collect the card. Maybe he collects a seven. And the rest get discarded. Also, I should point out, every time you win a trick, you're going to move your marker. So this guy won the first trick. That was the yellow. So he's going to move his marker. Not a brown guy won. And as you progress, you're going to be moving your markers up the board. After everyone, and you continue playing, once a player has run out of cards, then the trick, the, the game, the, the round, I should say, ends. So you're going to keep playing until one person runs out of cards, which will eventually happen because every time somebody wins a trick, they're collecting another card. And then... You're going to score points based on that, uh, based on where you end up. Let's look at the scoring right now. Hopefully that makes sense. It's a fairly straightforward trick-taking game where you must follow the suit. If you have, if you can't, then you just play whatever. Highest of the suit led wins or highest trump wins. And of course, you can lead trump anytime you want as well. And the winner has to take a card and put it in their hand but not one that they played. So even though at the start of the game, you might make a prediction on how many tricks you think you're going to win, but every time you win a trick, you're taking a card back, which might change things up. And it also might change what other people end up doing. So it's kind of an interesting game. So the way this scoring works is... The brown player here, he is next to two numbers. So what that means is he will get two points. If you're next to two numbers like this and you get one of those numbers, you get two points. So he would get two points. The blue player was off by one. So he's actually going to lose a point. But since he's at zero, he just stays at zero. The yellow player was also off, I guess, by one or two, so they would still be at zero. And I got mine exactly correct at three. So I predicted three or seven. I won three tricks uh, for this example. So I would get four points. So if you predict that you're going to win, you know, two or three, and you're correct, you get two points. But if you just predict uh, one number, I predicted three tricks or seven technically, and I won the three or seven, I get four points. So it's two points or four points. If you're off, you lose one point for every number you are off. On the rug, basically, if that makes sense. If you get to four here and you get another trick, you come back to this one. Oops, and you go to five. And then you would continue on. Six tricks, seven tricks, etc. I guess there's a maximum of eight tricks that you can win, or you just continue wrapping around. I don't know. But that's the game in a nutshell. You play four rounds, passing this token around. Every round, another person gets to be the start player, and they get to make their prediction first. These all go back to the players. And this, technically, this is the next player. So he would make a prediction first. Maybe he goes here, and these will get removed, of course. 
and you repeat. You do four rounds like this, and whoever has the most points at the end, or whoever reaches nine points first, or more than nine points, wins the game. Again, you do four rounds, or until somebody hits nine or more points. So that is that in a nutshell. It's a pretty cool little trick taking game. I do like that. Again, you can see what everyone has, but that, that kind of changes over the course of the game. And every time somebody wins a trick, they collect another card, changes things up. I like the bidding part and the scoring part and everything. And yeah, it's pretty cool. That is that. Comment, like, subscribe. I don't know what you think. And we'll see you next time. Make sure you like this video. It would be perfect. <laughs> see ya.